Happy holidays, everyone. It's Amanda here with your 2020 RuneScope. And uh, yes, if you didn't get the memo, if you didn't watch the intro, intro in last month's RuneScope, this will be my last video. And I will no longer be uh, conducting private Skype sessions after December 19th. That's gonna be the last day. I did open up a few more dates. If you have never gotten a reading from me and always wanted to, or uh, it's been a while since you've gotten one, you can drop me a line at my email address. It's below in the vid in, in the box below the video. If it's gone, if it's not there, that just means that all of those appointments have been booked. So um, yeah, it's just time for me to move on. I gotta do what I'm always telling you guys to do and follow the path that spirit is uh, shoving me in and actually has been for the last two years. So I'm actually really excited about the new chapter and uh, to have a better work-life balance. That will be nice. So uh, it's just time. But, uh, so I do take my own advice just to uh, let you know, but it's been a great seven and a half year ride here on YouTube. If I ever do come back, I never say never, but uh, I don't have any plans to. If I do though, I will pop up on this channel to say hi and see who's hanging out. So if you want to stay subscribed, feel free to search for RuneScopes every now and then to see if I, <laughs> see if I'm back. I do love doing this. It's something I enjoy. So even if I'm not on here, trust me, I will be reading someone's runes or tarot. Uh, out there in the world somewhere. But thank you so much for your support, your uh, comments, your your likes, your shares, um, all of my regulars. Thank you so much for uh, supporting me over the years. Uh, I couldn't have done it without you. It was the whole point I was here. And um, even if these videos had only helped a few people, it would have been worth it. But from the heartfelt comments I've received, uh, I can tell, and I'm so heartened and happy and actually humbled uh, by your comments from last month. And I'm sure I'll get more this month and I'm, I read every single one. So I am reading those, uh, as I, as I, uh, as you comment, I do read those. So thank you so much. And I'm so happy and humbled to hear that, uh, the videos have helped so many people. And, um, I'm so glad that I could do that. And, uh, so thanks for the support. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be our last one. Also, the Vimeo channel will be going away. I think it's the end of January or February. I'm not really sure. Again, all of that content will be outdated. The last thing I posted was November spiritual guidance. So that'll be over anyway. However, this YouTube video will be here all year for 2020. Do check back in from time to time to see where you are. With our runes, we're gonna be using the medieval Scapini Tarot for our 2020 rune scopes. And then also I'm going to pull a major arcana from the Oswald Worth tarot deck. I did get it to shuffle better. It was a lot easier with just the major arcana. But I wanna pull like a yearly overview card for all of you and just kind of see what themes or what at least some of the major themes are gonna be that you're dealing with in 2020. So uh, without further ado, have a lovely holiday season and let's, a happy new year too. And let's jump in and see how that new year is uh, is gonna go for y'all. Hey Taurus. Let's see what's shaking for you in 2020. What's going on with Taurus in 2020? Which rooms want to talk to Taurus? 2020. So as always, keep in mind, this is a general reading, Taurus, so not all of these messages will be for you. you Gotta give messages to the other Tauruses who are watching as well. You can always check the video for your rising sign as well to get additional messages, information, clarification on what may be coming up here in this reading, but if you would like a private session, take it back and watch the intro. I'll let you know if I have any left um, before I'm outie. So uh, yeah, just I record the intro last and then edit it all together. So um, that will have the most updated information about that. In general, however, We're gonna start here in the present. So for this, because we're looking at a whole year here, uh, the present will be end of 2019 to about 
end of March-ish, 2020. Got the four of coins in reverse. So, here's what this looks like in the upright. So there could be some sort of bureaucratic expense, legal expense, um, insurance payout that you have to make that you feel puts your finances on an unstable footing or you may have to take a bunch of money out of savings uh, to, to deal with something um, or put something on a payment plan to pay back a debt. Uh, you know, for some of you, this could just be Christmas. Maybe you have to charge Christmas or char charge Hanukkah or charge a lot of gifts. Um, and then you have to kind of go on a payment plan to kind of get things back up. Very Taurian, very earth sign, uh, concern here. But, you know, again, it does seem like you'll get it back in order. You'll get things back on solid footing. Others of you could be splurging. You could be making a big ticket, a big ticket purchase um, that you've been saving for maybe all of 2019. Um, so you you could be, yeah, you know, you finally saved up enough to put down a down payment on a car or a house or or uh, so this could be happening between yeah the end of the year and spring. So. Um, because, yeah, and this is a minor arcana, but it does mean that, you know, had a lot of money in savings. Now I don't, but it could be because you don't have to, because you were saving this money so you could spend it on this item. Um, or something you've really been wanting or saving for. But, yeah, if there is an unexpected expense of some kind of, yeah, you have to pay for damages on something or, yeah, have to, you know... Uh, pay a deductible or something um, because some you know, have to make repairs on a home or or um, yeah insurance keeps just kind of like showing up in my head but also um, yeah anything to do with legalities or like have to pay to get a license fee or have to renew a license or taxes or any of that sort of you know stuff you have to do it's like you can't get out of it you've got you know you you got to pay this um you'll get it back so it so if you're watching this on the december side maybe good to put a put a little extra in the in the uh in the savings or stash away a little bit if you can because um we have to make a big payout you will recover from this though taurus um it does seem to be a big concern though but you know you are again earth sign energy most concerned about money um, and finances, you want the security, um, right? But this can also indicate you may be over worrying about it, right? Uh, don't run yourself ragged or uh, by over worrying about that. Your challenge for 2020, we've got the Ten of Swords in reverse. And here's what it looks like in the upright. So, your challenge could be moving on from something, letting something go that you did not get closure on. Um, and I mean, Ten of Swords, anyway, you slice, it's not the best energy. Uh, it, in, the, in the upright, it means betrayal, um, ruin uh you pulled it in the reverse however but this is your challenge so it's like breaking free of feelings like that it's all a lot of it's mental though with the swords so i mean this could be a situation from the past or something that happens that you know whenever you think about it it just kind of it's like you're reliving it you relive all the frustrations and and the irritation i should have said this or i should have done that or um that sort of energy and um yeah, your challenge is to let this go. I mean, you can only do what you can do. We only have control over ourselves. So you can't, you know, when it's to do with other people, which it usually is when, when it's energy like this, um, 
there's not much you can do besides leave it leave it alone and move on. I mean, you can't make somebody own up to mistakes. You can't make them apologize. You can't make them even care that they've hurt you. Or um, Some of you are leaving, though, a situation in order to escape this energy. Like, it's just become, you know, in 2020, like, if you... If you're not already thinking about it, in 2020, there could be a situation that it's just you have to escape. You have to move on. You have to leave this relationship, leave this job, move on from this in in just an emotional way. Again, let it go. Um, because that's how you get your mojo back. That's how you recover. That's how you're going to get your energy back. Um, some of you maybe even get your health back. So yeah, there could be a relocation. You do have uh, the other moving and travel rune, either relocation or a lot of travel. I, I do feel like many of you will be moving in 2020, Taurus, a new home. Um, for some of you, it could be because you accept a new job. Um, I do feel like many of you are running away from something though, but not running away in the sense that you need to confront it, but running away in the sense that that's the only way to move on from something. Um, and you will achieve this goal if, if you if you take these steps to kind of um, free, you take steps to free yourself in whatever way you can, Taurus, because you could have a really good 2020 if you're able to do that. Um, and yes, sometimes it, it just takes totally getting out of a familiar environment. Sometimes we just got to start over, right? Um, even if it's just starting over in a new home or or you know. Even if you just <laughs> move up the street or whatever. But, uh, you know, many of you, it does seem, will be moving far, uh, farther away than that. Um, there could be a Leo energy, a Leo person involved in this situation as well, Taurus. Just wanted to throw out the vibe I'm getting. We'll talk about why here in a second. Um, but let's see what the help's going to be in 2020. You got the five of wands in reverse. So yeah, this is like ending petty bickering, ending petty quarrels, petty uh, disagreements. Um, it's just like I'm, not, I'm wasting my energy. This is interesting. Someone else got a similar energy. I think it was maybe Pisces. But yeah, it's like this is just stupid. This is point, these pointless arguments. For some of you, this could be going on at work. You may be working in a very petty high school or even junior high-esque environment. Um, you know, maybe you are, uh, you know, the youngest in the group, but it's the older people, maybe you work with mostly older people and they're acting, you know, immature. Um, or maybe you're the, the oldest person at the office and everybody is quite a bit younger than you and acting as such, you know? Um, but that's the energy is immaturity and just stupid, like ridiculous clicks and infighting and gossip. And this could be for many of you what you're looking to leave. Um, and it's going to help you to to leave that environment, quite honestly. Um, in the meantime, until you find this new job, because I, I do see a new chance, a new job opportunity coming in that you're going to feel quite satisfied about you're going to be very focused on like i'm going to get this job it's like as soon as you hear about it you are going to take it you're going to want it some of you this could be a promotion within your company but it would definitely take you out of your current team your current environment um maybe even the current location it could be within the same company but you're transferring to a different office and um yeah you're moving up you're you're moving up to a title and a job that you are like, again, you are determined, like, I'm going to get this. You have so much determination. Determination and movement is on the table in 2020. And Taurus, you're normally, that's normally that your energy. You usually have your comfort zone. You usually very much like to, uh, you know, just kind of chillax, stay, you know, stay where you feel safe. But yeah, so yeah, there's something about this environment that you're really just sick of. I mean, you know, and you're also known for your patience. So, I mean, your patience has just worn thin with something, Taurus. Uh, you're over it and you can't take it anymore. And so, so you're just, it's sparked this fire in you, right? To, to change your situation, to move out, move on, move to a different location. Um, but yeah, you got big money and advancement coming in your career. Uh, if you don't work, this could be uh, a payout, some sort of payout that you're getting. Maybe a legal one. Again, a le legality or insurance payment. 
For some of you, maybe this has been a legal battle you've been fighting or some kind of decision that you are um, attempting to rectify, whether it's a legal decision or, or like a, 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 some sort of insurance decision. Again, because that was coming through so strongly, you can get a turnabout. Um, it does seem like you have recourse, even if you've been told, you know, um, and I don't think you have, it could just be like, you didn't want to go that far with it. Maybe you didn't want to take things to the, to the next level or take it like Sue or, but you may have to do that or at least threaten to do that in 2020 Taurus. Um, it does seem like, uh, the injustice, it's going to be worth it to pursue it and, and take it to, uh, to the next level. Others of you, you are just increasing uh, your fortune through hard work, tenacity. Um, there is going to be an offer that you are celebrating uh, in 2020, a chance to move up. Um, and, and it's moving you out of this kind of toxic uh, environment or this pettiness. Um, some of you, it could be like moving you, giving you the means to move out of a relationship that that's the environment, you know? Um, yeah, maybe there's just been a lot of petty arguing and bickering and you're like, hey, I don't know if we're compatible anymore. That's not going to be for all of you. Um, but for some of you, that could be the way it's manifesting. What must be accepted? We've got force. This is the strength card in uh, other decks. This is why I was saying uh, you could have a Leo energy because we've also got a fire sign person over here. We'll get to, but um, yeah, uh, the Leo could be one of these toxic people or the one starting these fights or the one who's being petty. And you just need to break away from them or, or get away from their energy. Um, but yeah, a big shift or change, perhaps happening during Leo time frame, uh, end of July, early August, uh, could be when you're moving or shifting out of this job into a new one or um, relocating for work. Um, okay, you're rising up in power and influence in 2020, Taurus. Um, you're so resilient. I mean, you really are known for just being that, you know, strong, uh, person that most people can depend on, but it does seem like now you're depending on yourself, right? And, um, and you're fine with that because you know, you can trust you, right? So, uh, yeah, through this big shift or change, you're, you're hoping for a new day. There's something that you're like, I, you know, I've been strong for so long and I just, I need this to be over so that I can, uh, you know, move in, move back to a comfort zone, right? Or move back into a situation where I have calm and peace. Um, and you are gradually going to get this back, Taurus. What, so whatever this change is, whatever this kind of, you know, fight is, it is something you are going to uh, change in 2020 and uh, move on, uh, move up and out of. The outcome, we've got the uh, the King of Wands in reverse. So yeah, this could be a troublesome Leo. Um, if it's not a Leo, it could be a Sag or Aries energy. And these court cards can be male or female in these general readings. For some of you, this will be a male. For others of you, uh, a female. Very much, uh, this could be the person very much causing the drama or, or uh, causing the problem. And it could be a family member for many of you. Uh, it could be, again, a spouse, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, um, or one of your kids, or, you know, an extended relative, you know, a, an extended member of the family. But it, it is somehow they're affecting your home. Um, this could also be some sort of will or estate issue. Again, legalities, payouts from an estate, um, inherited property you're owed, inherited money you're owed, and somebody contesting that or fighting it, and you like, oh. I really didn't want to take this, you know, further, but it looks like I'm going to have to fight or contest this. Um, but yeah, this is somebody who, there is a selfish energy of this, kind of a mind, mind, mind in the reverse, but it's somebody who should know better. I mean, this is coming up as a king. Um, but yeah, in the reverse, they're just, they're in it for whatever they can get out of it, especially when it comes to money, finance, property. Um, if you are moving, relocating, Taurus, in 2020, um, yeah, this could be somebody who's trying to, like, offer you, a, you know, lowball offer on your house. Again, get, you know, they've got an agenda. I just want to get what's best for me. Or they could be, like, uh, tr their house could be overpriced. 
Um, and they could be trying to, uh, yeah, essentially swindle you out of, uh, out of some money here. So you're going to find the perfect home and it may even be this one, but you should, you know, it could be that you're like, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to pay that. If you're willing to walk away, Taurus, um, it does seem like this does the trick because again, you know, eh, I'm just going to, I like that house, but I'm going to have to say no, or I'm going to have to walk away because, because that will get this person maybe to change their tune. Okay. That ends the petty bickering. It's like, yeah, you know, you know, maybe that offer wasn't so bad, Taurus. They'll probably come back to you that way. Um, yeah, others of you, this is, um, I'm feeling like this is somebody with, in the family for some of you, with, with a problem. I don't know if it's an addiction issue, but that is coming through. Uh, and, um, like you may have to kick them out of the house if you know, no matter who it is. Um, that may be the only way to again liberate yourself from this constant worry, this constant just mental uh, anguish. You know, and, and they may take it as a betrayal, but I, you know, it, it does seem like they probably betrayed you so many times in the past, Taurus. So there's just this. Either they got to go or you got to go. And um, so, yeah, even though it may hurt you, I, I do feel like you are going to have to, make, it's interesting, force force someone out of your home uh, for your own peace or, or the peace uh, of everyone else in, in the home. Um, this could also be... Um, Moving because of a troublesome neighbor, if you have like a really irritating, just icky neighbor, you could be moving because of that also, Taurus, or um, they could be moving <laughs> and restoring, <laughs> restoring balance. But um, yeah, some of you could be like either threatening to sue a neighbor or suing a neighbor. Because maybe they're loud. There's a, there's a lot of like, they're disrupting your peace because they're loud. I've got loud music going on. Maybe they got, you know, and you could be a little intimidated or scared. Maybe this is kind of a scary, a scary looking character. Or maybe they got some, you know, again, addiction did come up or somebody with issues came up. So maybe it's like, you know, they, they, there's some nefarious things going on next door or above you if you live in an apartment or something. But it does seem like you have recourse. Um, but yeah, you may be a little bit like, Ooh, you know, what kind of consequences will I have from this? It does look like you will be protected Taurus, but definitely, um, you know, talk to law enforcement, talk to, uh, like, you know, find out what, you know, if you can get a restraining order or if you need to get something like that, what kind of protection order you can get if, if you're worried about that sort of thing. It really just seems to me for most of you, this person's a big talker, really loud, but when it comes to actually doing much, they don't really have much um, effort or wherewithal to finish things. They can start things, but they don't really finish them, and that includes threats. So, um, yeah, just be careful, Taurus, if you're dealing with somebody who's sketchy. Um, I do see peace being restored to your home. You enjoying your home again, whether it's because you buy a new one and move or because you kick out a troublesome person or because you... Uh, you know, you, you, you force someone to be considerate and it's a shame that you have to do that, but you do have to do that these days. Some people were just, they, 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 I don't know how they were raised, but they're just so inconsiderate of other people and think nothing of, you know, invading your space, invading your privacy, disrupting the whole neighborhood because, you know, it's all about them. It's just really selfish energy. And unfortunately there are a lot of people out there like that. That's sort of what this... The number one thing with this energy, loud and selfish, would be the way to categorize that. But I do feel like whoever this is, you're getting away from them or getting rid of them. But let's see what the major arcana theme is going to be for you. Well, that's interesting. Uh, so yeah, with the major arcana, this is going to be a theme that you're dealing with throughout 2020. And you'll deal with both the positive and negative energies. you got judgment in reverse. Here's what it looks like in the upright. So we're making an unfair decision, fair. <laughs> a 
an unfair circumstance fair? There may be a lot going on with um, judgments or, or, or someone being judgmental or you feel as being judgmental towards you. Someone may feel, some people may feel your, or someone in particular may feel or tell you Taurus, they feel like you're being judgmental of them. Could be this dude or girl, uh, again, male or female, but um, yeah, this is decisions and judgments in the legal sense, but also just on a personal basis from person to person. Harsh critics. You may feel like, you know, for some of you, this could be on the job again. Like everybody's always like talking, you know, denigrating your position or criticizing your work or, you know, your ideas or whatever. Uh, it could be your boss. For some of you, maybe this is your boss. Particularly if you work from home um, or if you work in real estate. This could be someone you're dealing with. Um, that's just, yeah, constantly just overly critical. Too critical to find a home. Maybe they hate everything about everything you show them <laughs> if you're in real estate. Fun. Um, but yeah, just remember anything unfair, you're either going to get, again, take it to the next level, right? Take it legal, take it to court, appeal to the, the higher counsel or whatever, um, and attempt to get this overturned. And that, you know, whatever you lose or whatever decisions are made against you, another one will come in later to rectify that. Um, this is also about kind of like contracts and negotiations and knowing when to walk away from a deal like we were talking about. Don't let anybody talk you into something that is overpriced, that they're being selfish about, that they're the only one that would benefit from. You know, you can walk away, you know, it, it's also a decision to not make a decision. And I do feel like Taurus, that's going to be part of 2020. Um, the walking away though could result in a, a positive decision though and a win. So yeah, just kind of think about that Weigh things. I think, I feel like it's going to be a year of decisions, um, yours and other people's, but all of which affect you. And, um, yeah, don't forget that when you're unsure or if something seems sketchy or unclear or not right, not making a decision um, is sometimes the best course of action. So I want to wish you the best of luck in 2020, Taurus. Thank you so much for your support over the years here of the RuneScopes channel. Uh, have a lovely holiday season, a happy new year and beyond.